Hi guys, if you've seen my holiday photos most years, I like to throw my action cameras in the sea and see if I can film the fish under the water. Uh, don't often see many fish, but we do see some. I've made up, well I've made up several brackets over the years, but this is one of my early ones. It was one of the um, brackets that comes with the action cameras that have broken so I bolted it onto this plastic lid so that you can clip it on there and then what I did was I used cable ties to add some lead fishing weights around it to hold it on the bottom so it just sits on the sandy ground or whatever you call it at the bottom of the sea and um, holds the camera steady and this year I was thinking, can I improve on that? So I 3D printed myself a sort of a tripod. I've actually got the dimensions slightly tight, slightly tighter than intended. Still um, fits in there fine, but they're just that little bit tighter than I intended it to be. Don't know whether to actually improve that by just putting a hot knife in there and just easing it out a little bit, or just leave it, leave it tight. And then all I'm going to do is get some bits of galvanised wire and put loops through there just to hold these on the end so they can flex around a little bit, because that should help them settle on the sea floor. I will, of course, have um, this on the end of a line so that we don't lose it. And bearing in mind there's a good chance that will break, the line will also go around the camera just in case that attachment breaks so we don't lose the camera. Done. So just bits of galvanised wire around there to hold it in place. Because you've no idea exactly how it's going to land in the water anyway. What I often do is actually just wade out with it and just let it down so it just sits. And as I say, when I put it on a line, I'm going to make sure the line goes round the bottom through there, through there, and probably round the camera as well, so that if it all goes wrong and the bracket breaks there, we should be able to still bring it all back in. The real problem is if you throw it out amongst the rocks and it gets jammed in the rocks, then you're completely stuck. You'd have to swim out and release it. But for just dangling it off the pier or the breakwater or something like that, that will be fine.
Thanks for watching. You'll find more information down in the video description. You might like to watch that video up there. And you might like to subscribe over there.